Hello everyone, welcome sa ating YouTube channel and today we're gonna be featuring again our Echeveria Nodulosa but this time around we're gonna be featuring it with a severe fungal infection. Ayan. So obviously naman kitang kita na something is wrong with the succulent. Ayan. So 360 degrees. Itong side na ito na nakikita natin is nakalbo siya because of our dog. So, nalagas yung dahon niya before kasi ito nga yung nasira ng ating aso. Pero in this area, these are because of yung ating fungus. Ayan o. So, even sa underside ng kanilang leaves, it's affected. Talagang all leaves may ganito. And usually kasi, they will start like this na it will start with just, you know, isa, dalawa na mga brown spots or black spots. But if we're not gonna be treating them right away, ang mangyayari is magiging ganito siya. So, kumbaga, kumalat siya, mas dumami kasi napakabilis kumalat nitong ating mga fungus na ito. And if left untreated, it would look like this. Ayan, so kitang-kita natin. Yung itsura niya, it's totally unhealthy and disgusting to look at. Kaya ang gagawin natin is we're just gonna be removing yung mga leaves na affected and since all of its leaves were affected ang gagawin natin is tatanggalin din natin lahat ng kanyang leaves wala tayong ititira except na lang siguro yung doon sa part na medyo healthy pa pero ito mga nasa baba na ito na I'm trying to remove ayan lahat ito tatanggalin natin sila you might be wondering why I didn't apply yung ating contact fungicide this time it's because yung ating contact fungicide, pag in-apply natin sila dito, they would usually treat and prevent yung spread ng ating fungus. Pero, syempre, they won't really uh, change yung ating leaves na bumalik sa kanilang dating itsura. So, those marks na nakikita natin would be permanent even if na-treated na sila. Kaya, mas maganda if we're just gonna be removing uh, itong ating mga leaves na Ito. So after removing the leaves, it would look like this. Talagang bare lang siya. And we could also notice na there are a lot of offsets na din na tumubunga around sa stem nitong ating nodulosa. So we have about, I think, five offsets ang tumubo sa kanya as of the moment. Ayan. And we will be expecting na magkakaroon pa siya ng napakadaming offsets since nagtanggal nga tayo ng dahon sa kanyang stem. We will be air drying this for at least one week and after noon, we can now safely apply yung ating contact fungicide to make sure na magiging healthy yung mga new growth or offsets na maproproduce niya. And with these mga leaves na tinanggal natin, you have two options. Una nga dyan is that you can just simply throw them away since they are really infected nga nitong ating fungus. Ayan, so that's the ideal na way na dapat nating gawin pero if you are someone who is a risk taker, you can actually propagate itong ating mga infected leaves na ito. So like what I have here, these two leaves that we have here were also infected nga nung ating fungus but I decided to propagate them to see if okay nga ba yung magiging result and ayan na nga yung kanyang result after a week nagkaroon na nga siya ng mga tiny roots dyan and probably if we're gonna be giving it more time new offsets would be produced. Hindi lang tayo sure whether it would be a healthy one or an infected one. Pero syempre, we're gonna be applying yung ating fungicide just to be sure. Right now, I have prepared this soil mix. This is a pure na alnos compost. Nilagay ko lang sila dito sa ating broken na Tupperware here. Syempre, may drainage holes din sila sa pinaka baba. And I think if we will be putting nga yung ating mga leaf propagations here, yung contrast ng white tupperware at saka yung red na color nitong ating Ichiveri Nodulosa would be nice. This is how it would look like. Randomly lang tayo naglagay ng mga leaves 
dito nga sa ating pinaka soil and we're gonna be applying yung ating contact fungicide once they have produced yung kanilang roots and offsets just to make sure na we're gonna be growing healthy na julosa. Ilalagay rin natin siya sa isang bright shaded area and the most important thing is dapat malayo sila doon sa ating mga healthy succulents for us to prevent nga yung pagkalat ng fungo sa ating garden or sa ating collection including itong ating pinaka mother na plant. Ayan siya. So that's all guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent. PH.